right, let's learn about the floating action button. Uh, so basically, floating action buttons are, are just used for, for kind of a promoted action. Um, the reason I include them in, the, in this unit with, with, uh, with menus and dialogues is that adding something or some of these actions are things that were, were historically done uh, just in the, in the menu um, as a menu item themselves. Uh, so I kind of think of them as, as sort of a displaced menu item in, in, in some way. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and dig in. We saw that, that what we were given was, uh, was, it, was an on-click listener. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and, and call the get default item um, in our model object and then show it. All right, and show is, is no big deal. We're just, we just have some name text and we're gonna set their text to the appropriate, um, to the appropriate thing there. All right, so um, along the way, we'll have to capture some text views as well. And that's all we're gonna do. It's gonna be a pretty short lesson. Um, you're welcome if you just wanna go ahead and, and work on this on your own. Uh, but I'll, I'll sort of catch up with you here and, and, and do it as well. So I should have this, this drawable in here. So now I have the, the icon add. So I'm actually going to build and I'm going to clean my project um, just sort of have it, have it rebuild. Um, I know it didn't like uh, it didn't like some things because I didn't have them before. Uh, yeah, it, it does not like this at all. Um, uh, and I know why now. Right? Just, just forget it out. Um, it's actually not an Android drawable. It's just, it's just a drawable itself. Okay, uh, so, and again, drawable is referring to my own folder. Android drawable is a built-in uh, drawable that, that's part of the, um, part of what we get. Okay, uh, so this, this should be okay now if I were to, to, to rebuild it. Great, um, so let's, let's go ahead and, and write the code here. So I'm gonna capture, capture my text views. So I'm gonna have three of them. One is gonna be for the name of the item. And then I'll, boom, uh, I'm gonna have one for the quantity that we're purchasing. And the last one right here is gonna be for the delivery date. Let's call it date or delivery date, kind of. Uh. Delivery date text. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to capture these guys. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do that right here. So, and you, you should know how to do this by now. So find view by ID, you got it. And let's see, so I already gave these to you. So um, where these come from, I guess we should peek really quick. So I gave you the content main. Content main is a linear layout, right? So just four things that are just laid out one on top of the other. Uh, See this a little bit bigger here. Um, yeah, so one, two, three, four text views. Right. And uh, orientation vertical. So if it's linear, either has to be vertical or horizontal. Uh, text view, text view, text view, text view. There they are in all their glory. Um, and it, you might think that I hard coded these guys in here, but if, you know, that's it's just showing it like that. But um, the actual names are defined in, uh, in the strings.xml. Alrighty, um, so where were we? So we were going ahead and capturing this name text, and I called it name underscore text, uh, and I got the same thing for the uh, for the quantity text. And I could probably do a copy and paste on this as well. R dot id dot quantity text, and I guess I'll do that for the third one here. So this is a delivery date text, and r.id date text is what we got. All right, great. What do we want to have happen here? Um, so the on-click listener, um, uh, I can keep that in there for now if you just want to you want to see it running. Uh, I want to call my my own um, method that I write here, which is just show current uh, item, and I'm going to need a, a current item for that. Um, I'm actually also going to have to have it um, grab the the um, grab a default item. So uh, get default item is a little factory method that I made there, uh, and we'll set that to my current item. What is that? Well, I guess we need to to um, need a field for that as well. So private, and this is the model class that I made current item, and we should probably take a look at that as well so you see what you get. Um, Probably no surprises here. So an item has a date, uh, which is a string, 
as a quantity, um, how many we want, and then I have a date object here. This is just a simple java.util.date, um, so not, nothing special there. Um, the default constructor just sets it to nothing, none of them, and on the, the uh, default date, which I believe is like in 1969, uh, then we have a constructor that takes all three parameters. Here's my little factory that I made here. Um, I asked my kids what I should do, what I should have as my default item. They said earplugs, go figure. Uh, and then we just have getters and setters for everything else. Uh, for delivery date, um, we can get the date string, or we could get it. Uh, we could get the time as a long. Uh, we'll use this when we're doing editing later on. Uh, so that's all we got for items. Close that guy up. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and write show current item. So show current item takes no parameters, and it just takes the 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 uh, text views that we have. Um, that we've captured, and it's going to set their text. All right, so let's see. So what goes in set text? Uh, it's going to be my current item's uh, name. So pretty simple. Uh, what's going to go in the quantity text? Um, so what, what's, what's in here? Uh, back what we had it, so it, it's going to say quantity and then a certain, uh, certain number of that thing. Uh, so I'm going to do, uh, let's see, so set, oops, don't want to be there, set text. Um, and it's not just the quantity itself, it's a, it's a string there, so I'm going to have to get a, a string. This one is not, not worrying about plurals on this since I'm not using s or anything like that. So I'm going to do a get string on r.string. This is the quantity format. And I'm also going to pass into the get string uh, the thing that I want to format, which is my current items. Uh, quantity. Great. And finally is the date. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So my delivery date text, set its text. And for this guy right here, we will also get a string. And the right thing to use then is going to be something very similar get string r.string dot date format. And I'll just be careful with this one. Um, there is a delivery date string, that's the right thing to use for this one. And we'll try this guy out. All right, so I launched my emulator. Let's see how this works. We want to see if this guy gives me, yes, there we go. Okay, so earplugs, and it brings up the little snack bar here. Uh, we'll take care of that. You can comment that out or not, but we'll, we'll eventually replace it with something better. All right, uh, very good. Um, I think that's all, all we got for this time. Um, come back next time to learn more about snack bars. Actually, not snack bars, tool bars. All right.